Are there um, any risks or side effects to uh, getting these boosters? So if you're looking at some of the risks and side effects from the boosters, they would generally be the same sort of side effects one might see after the second dose if it's a two dose series or after the first dose if it's a one dose series like the Johnson and Johnson Janssen vaccine. Most people will find um, with the vaccine, there will be some pain, redness, or swelling at the injection site. There may be some tiredness, headaches, muscle pain, chills, fever, and nausea. And these are really the main effects that you would see. Some people may have no effects at all. That's what I've seen. Um, there may be very rare cases where people can feel very faint, what's called syncope. Um, that's why we try to make sure patients are sitting down when they get the vaccine because they may um, faint a little bit, but we haven't noticed that. And the vaccines that I've done certainly over the last two years, I've probably had two people that had that reaction. Mm -hmm. um, the rare side effects that can occur that are more serious include things like the TTS, which is a problem uh, leading to blood clots and clotting, and these are very rare in the sense that it, in these reports, as of February 2022, um, there were 57 cases out of more than 8.4 million doses of the J&J vaccine, and three out of 532 million doses of the Moderna vaccine in the, in the US data. So that's, so that's very, very rare. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other event is, that has uh, come up as well, again, very rare, um, is the myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle, and pericarditis, which is inflammation on the outer line of the heart. And these reports have mostly been in um, ages under 30 years old, and they report preliminary reports around 2,000 um, of the uh, reports came out from February 2022, but consider that there's been um, hundreds of millions of doses within that 2000 uh, re report. So it's, it's a very rare event as well, but something we need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. um, this is a treatable condition. And so uh, it is something that the providers will look out for. The other uh, rare events are Gillian-Barre syndrome, which is a neurological effect, which is also rare, but mo can occur in other vaccines as well. But that's, uh, that's uh, an effect that we see not very often as well. Um, and then anaphylaxis is an event where you have a severe allergic reaction. And again, those are very rare events. So these are generally the risks and side effects from any COVID vaccine. And since it's the same vaccine you get for your boosters, um, you would also see this, these effects with the boosters.